we booked a mammoth 28-night cruise on Princess Cruise's smallest ship, Coral Princess. The cruise was a complete circumnavigation of Australia, and we made one of the biggest room choice gambles we have ever made by booking a cabin that was once part of the huge casino. Not only is this cabin virtually in the casino, it has a feature that we have never seen before in over 50 cruises, and one that makes it so unique we just had to tell you about it. Let's go! Booking the right cabin for 28 nights is always going to be a tough decision. This cruise is by far the longest we have ever booked, and all the cabin options and choices were open to us. So why did we pick one of the most unusual, least reviewed and least known cabins on the whole ship? We have sailed in lots of ocean view rooms in the past, with many cruise lines, and we really enjoyed what they offer. They are an excellent balance of price and overall satisfaction. In our opinion, of course. Where the cabin is on a ship is something we always consider. We always try and book a lower deck and midship because that's where you get less movement in rough seas. It's like being on the centre of a seesaw. Those at the ends of the seesaw have the most movement, in this case the front and back of the ship, and the person sitting in the centre has virtually no movement at all. Cabin F502 was in a perfect location in this respect, dead centre of the ship and on deck 6, one of the low cabin decks. Now this was the interesting bit. I had noticed that Coral Princess had an unusual corridor of 13 rooms along the port side of deck 6 the only cabins on the entire deck. It turns out Princess put these extra rooms in, doing an extensive dry dock refit in 2016. But the intriguing thing is, we suspected the windows to still be those large public area windows, not the smaller ocean view windows. Did they change them? Or would these rooms benefit from a huge, almost floor to ceiling picture window? Well, let's show you. The cabin is the same size as any other ocean view cabin. Bathroom is the same, a standard size for inside ocean view and balcony configurations. This sort of bathroom is typical in any cruise ship. If you're a large person, it's not going to be the best experience, but then, without shelling out for a mini suite or a suite, it's no better or worse than you'd get on any cruise ship, regardless of cruise line. The dressing area is also the same. It's a typical princess design, and we love it because it has this huge open hanging area and a generous cupboard with lovely deep shelves that can swallow up the contents of your suitcase with ease. These rooms are OB and OC categories, exactly the same as the Ocean View rooms one deck below on Plaza Deck, Deck 5. But that's where the similarities end. The living area is exactly the same size, but has several benefits over and above any other Ocean View room. The most immediate difference is plain to see. That window! It is huge! Thankfully, our gamble paid off and Princess had not tampered with the size of the window since its days as part of the casino. To say this is a major advantage of this cabin is an understatement. The view you get from anywhere in the room is like nothing you've ever experienced before in an ocean view. Dare we say it, it's even better than a balcony view, because with a balcony view, you have to look through the balcony doors, through your balcony furniture, and through the glass balcony itself. With this window, because it's directly on the external hull, there's nothing beyond it except the beautiful sea. There's only one piece of glass to look through, and that makes a huge difference. The dimension of this window dwarfs a standard ocean view window, it's over twice as big, which means it lets in over twice as much light and makes your delighted grin over twice as wide. Yet another benefit of an ocean view is the noise levels. Not from the casino, because we'll come on to that in a minute, but the noises from outside. Usually, in not very nice weather, balcony doors can rattle, whistle, groan, knock, hum, screech, or a combination of all of those things, and believe us, we've heard them all. That's not including the sounds from the sea and the weather as well, of course. The glass on these windows is very thick, and believe us, when we say this, you will hear virtually nothing. Given you're on a low deck, closer to the sea, it glides by silently. It's just so serene to sit here and watch it. Even on one night, we had a huge electrical storm outside with thunder, strobe lighting, and driving rain. We only heard a low rumble a few times, and the muted crack of thunder like it was miles away. These are the ultimate soundproof cabins. Whoa, that Another huge feature of this cabin compared to a normal ocean view cabin is the layout of the room itself. In a standard ocean view cabin, the bed always sits under the window. As the window is smaller and higher up the outside wall, the bed is always situated under it, which means you don't get a view out of the window unless you climb onto the bed and face the headboard, which after a while gives you dead legs or at least a bit of a backache. It's just not comfy. In these ocean super view cabins, as I call them, they are laid out like a balcony cabin in that the bed is not under the window, but on a wall to the side, meaning that you can sit or lie in bed and look out of the window. I can't stress enough how much satisfaction this gives you. 
You can while away hours just staring out of this beautiful huge window and the sea, land and other ships, dolphins, whales, mermaids, etc. just glide past with smooth, silent ease. So what about the position of these 13 Superview cabins? Well, being on deck 6, you are naturally next door to the casino. We've got to say, despite our concerns, we heard virtually no noise at all coming from the casino. Cabins are buffered by this corridor, and the dividing wall I can only imagine to be well soundproofed. And because this corridor only has 13 cabins along it, it doesn't lead anywhere. Then there's no passing traffic. Also, these are so central to just about everything. It's only a short hop to the International Café, the restaurant, the atrium and its bars, the entertainment venues and the promenade deck. Oh, and I forgot about the obvious. Casino lovers will be delighted with their favourite venue being literally on their doorstep. Are there any downsides, I hear you ask? Well, I struggle to think of many, to be honest. The bathroom is still haunted by the ghoulish presence of a shower curtain. Ugh. The safe is big enough to put your valuables in if you don't actually have any valuables with you. And this hairdryer looks like something Mr. Spock would have used when scanning a planet for alien life forms back in the 1960s. Using it to dry hair is, quite frankly, illogical. All these things are kindly provided in the other cabin categories as well, you'll be pleased to know. <laughs> Thank you, Princess. My only question to Princess Cruises is, when are you going to put these ocean superview rooms in your other ships? Who needs a huge casino anyway? Hmm. Please watch this for more princess content. Thank you. Thank you.